He's alive again. The stone is rolled away. He's alive again. He's no longer very late. He's alive again. I can hear angels sing. Let all the world rejoice. He's alive. Yes, he's alive again. The stone is rolled away.
come to you with a, a short devotion again today. We pray that through these devotions and through the songs of Zion, uh, praise God, that something will touch your heart and draw you closer to the Lord and allow you to have an encounter with Jesus Christ. We're looking into the book of Revelation today, uh, chapter 22, reading from verse 10 down to verse 14. And praise God. Verse 10 says, And he saith unto me, Seal not the saints of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at end. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he that which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according to his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Uh, blessed is, are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, uh, and may enter in through the gates uh, unto the city. Let's pray. Father, we just want to thank you again today. That, Lord Jesus, that we can come again into the holy of holies. That we can bring forth the word of God today again. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that as the word of God goes forth today, Lord, that it will touch some heart, it will stir someone, it will draw someone closer to thee. We pray, Lord Jesus, through the word of God today, Lord, that your word will affect and take root, Lord, and begin to grow. Now, Lord Jesus, take your servant item behind the cross, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I want to minister for just a little while today on the topic, the sunset of life. The sunset of life. We know that one day life will be over. We know one day that our life uh, uh, will be over. We know that one day the sun uh, that shines down here will end for us. Uh, one day uh, our life will, uh, will be finished. But the, uh, the answer is, uh, where will we spend eternity? That is the question today that I want to present to you. When the sunset of life is over, when your day comes that you, uh, 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 your life no longer exists down here upon planet Earth, where will you spend eternity? There are two places uh, that is prepared. One is heaven and the other is hell. And I'm not going to try to hide it up. And the, the Bible tells us that uh, uh, hell is preferred for those uh, uh, that do not know Jesus, whose names are not written on the Lamb's book of life. Heaven is prepared for those that have accepted Jesus, that have come to know him, and their, their names are written on the Lamb's book of life. So it is very important that when the sunset of life uh, comes uh, our way, and just as sure as I'm here today, uh, and you're listening to me, uh, I pray God that one day our life uh, will be over. But praise God for those today that uh, uh, have accepted Jesus uh, as Savior and Lord of their life are covered with the blood and their names are written on the Lamb's book of life. Uh, Pray God a uh, life will just begin, amen, in heaven. But for those that have not accepted Him and do not know Jesus, uh, uh, pray God the, uh, the Bible calls it uh, the second death, amen. Pray God. Pray God, but I believe today that each one of us today, Jesus Christ died for you and I. Jesus died that everyone would come to know him and to have an encounter with him and that each one would have their name written on the Lamb's book of life. That when you die down here, you would open your eyes in heaven and you would worship, be able to worship around the throne room of God. You would live eternity in heaven. Amen. In 1 John chapter 5 and verse 11 says this. He said, and this is the record that God has given to us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. And verse 12 says this. And he that hath the Son hath life. And he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Praise God. In order to live eternity in heaven, we had to have Jesus Christ living in our hearts. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 13 says this. 
He said, These things have I written unto you that believing on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. So important today to make a decision down here. It's so important to make sure that you are saved, washed in the blood, walking in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is so important uh, to be sure. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. That when something happens down here, that you have have, uh, I pray God, eternal life with Jesus Christ. Because I said it before, I'll say it again now. There are two places, heaven or hell. We have to make the choice. I made my choice over 40 years ago. I walked to an old-fashioned altar. I gave my life to Jesus, amen. He, 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 and he came, and he saved me, and he wrote my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Have I made mistakes? Is that sure I've made mistakes? But we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and we go back to him, and we call upon him, and he forgives us, amen. Hallelujah. We all make mistakes, the Word of God says, and come short of the glory of God. But we have a way of going back to him and asking for forgiveness. In Colossians chapter 3 and verse 1 says this. He said, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek these things which are above, where Christ sat upon the right hand of God. Set your affliction on things uh, above and not things on the earth. For ye are dead and your life is in with Christ in God. I praise God. And I like verse 4. It says, If when Christ, who is our life, when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. That is the promise that we have. When the sons of life sits down here, we have, we have a hope that we are going to heaven and that we have eternal life with Jesus Christ. What a hope that we have. Amen. Hallelujah. And I invite everyone that's listening to this message today that you make up your own mind. Amen. I can't make up your mind for you. You can't make up mine. But today we all have to make up our own mind whether we will accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of our life or will we reject him. If you reject him, pray God, you have to spend your eternity in hell. But if you accept Jesus Christ, Amen. You, you can live forever with Jesus in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. What a, what a wonderful thing to be able today to, to be able to do. And that is to spend eternity in heaven with Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. In John chapter 11 and verse 25 says this. He says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection. He was talking to the woman at the well. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. That is the promise that we have when we accept Jesus, when the sunset of life hands down here, when our life is over, that we can have this hope with Jesus Christ. And whosoever liveth and abideth in me shall never die. Believe thou this. Amen. Hallelujah. That is the reason today that we can call upon him a reason today that we can invite him into our lives, that we can live forever with him in heaven. In, in, in James chapter 4 and verse 14 says this, whereas ye know not what shall be on tomorrow. We don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but I know who holds tomorrow, and I know who holds my hand. And I can walk through to, uh, today and know that if Christ will walk with me, and if tomorrow, amen, something happens, I know that I'm going home to be with him. Why? Why do you say, Pastor, why do you know that? I know that I know that I know my name is written on the Lamb Book of Life. Every day I feel his spirit. Every day I know that he is with me. I praise God. Hallelujah. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appear for a little time and then vanishes away. Amen. That's what life is. It's only for a little while, but eternity is forever. Amen. So we have to make up our mind where we will spend eternity. When the sunset of life is over down here, where will we spend eternity? You might say eternity can't be that long. I want to say this. Eternity is never ending. It's all forever. Amen. One M. writer said, he said, if a little bird would take a drop of water from the Pacific Ocean in his beak and carry it to the Atlantic Ocean, when the Pacific Ocean is emptied out into the Atlantic Ocean, eternity would just began. That would be a long time. Amen. I pray God. So I say to you today, 
Think about where you're going to spend it. When your life is over, when the sunset of life is over, where are you going to spend eternity? In closing today, amen, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 7. He said, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He's saying what he's talking about the churches, he's talking about people, amen. So hear what the Spirit of God is saying to you. Make up your mind. Amen. Where you're going to spend eternity when the sunset of life is over for you. To him that overcometh, will I get to eat of the tree of life which is in the midst of the praises paradise of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we today can make up our whole mind. Choose which path you want to walk. Whether you walk the broad road or the narrow road. The broad road leads to destruction. The narrow road leads to heaven. So I pray today that, that today that you would make up your mind. Amen. And serve Jesus. Invite him into your life. And be covered with the blood. And if something happens down here, you can have life eternity in heaven with Jesus. May God bless you this week and may God's face shine upon you and may God's glory be upon your life and may you find Christ in a special way. Let's pray. Father, we just want to thank you again today for this great privilege that you have given us to be able to come and to look into the word of God. We pray today that as your word has gone forth, that it will not come back onto you void, but it will accomplish what you set out for it to do. Now, Lord Jesus, today we pray, Lord, that uh, us as Christians today, born again believers, Lord, we will continue to walk with you. We will continue to have that encounter with you as the Lord Jesus Christ. But those today that are listening to this message that do not know you, we pray today that the Spirit of God will bring conviction upon them and they will realize today that the sons of life will come but Lord where will they spend eternity I ask today that they would make up their mind they would turn to you and be covered with the blood praise God today we thank you today for your word may your word do it be effect in each life today in Jesus name amen and amen amen hallelujah let's stand and sing it tonight let's worship the Lord Oh, oh, oh.